Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Tales of Destiny. Let's go ahead and uh, follow that uh, voice that uh, Ophelia was talking about and get into another fight, of course. <clears throat> you probably do need the levels, after all. Stop trying to spit uh, stuff at me. Ow. Why are you going over there, you dink? These guys hurt. I don't like them. <laughs> there we go. Well, we are getting a massive amount of money. Like, how much are we getting? Quite a bit. We've gotten like 3,000 already. It's kind of crazy. Alright, let's get over here. Get to the chain or rope or whatever this is. I think it's a chain. Then again, we did see beds. Stop these uh, starfish from casting. Thank you for the healing. There we go. Level up. And a new spell for Leon. Uh, looks like I leveled up. Yep. Wow, we're <laughs> only two, uh, two XP apart. All right, spells. You got Hammer Blow. Drops a hammer on an enemy's head. It causes the enemy to lose consciousness. Eh, could be good. All right, two ways down. Let's go uh, left first. Yeah, good, treasure. Got another mystery disc. down. Aha, we are on the other side here. I want to get rid of the uh, starfish because they can cast spells. First aid. I don't like that they get multiple hits. It's rude. And a level up for Ruti. No new skills or spells, though. So that's unfortunate. I can hear the voice from above us. Alright, but we need to go over this way first, because there might be treasure. There is... Like there's a an elevator too. That does not do a whole lot of damage. It feels like. I'm gonna search gold right now. You didn't even find anything, Ruti. Thanks for wasting everyone's time. Uh, an S stone. All right, so these two unidentified disks are listed separately. They don't uh, group up. S stone, sharp stone, an aura disk engraved with the image of Earth. All right. So that's going to be uh, more slash and thrust. I 
think that's good. Let's take that. And spells. I get spike. Attacks enemies with stone spikes that appear from the ground. All right. I'm not sure if, uh, like, when they get new spells, if it's based on our levels or whatnot. Assume so, but who knows. The elevator does not work. It doesn't look like it has power. How would I know anything about that? That long, uh dining or meeting table. Helia bomb. All right, I need uh, I need some spell, some healing. Alright, well. I was expecting a little bit of a healing from you, Ruti. A little level up there for Philia. No new uh, skills, though, unfortunately. Alright, uh, item. I should probably be putting these into the uh, food sack. Not the wormy apples, though. Red is only 20. Okay. And green gel. There we go. Get a couple of those uh, used. Okay. Could have gone the other way, but that's fine. All right. An elevator that uh, is not going to have power, I'm sure. Okay. The door was pried open with the pickaxe. Well, this is an interesting room. Is this a central area? Welcome, Philia Felice. Who are you? That voice. Clemente. Can it be? No, oh, it's you. You're spoiling this poignant moment. Are you a Swordian? That is correct, sir. My name is Clemente, an authentic Swordian. Clemente, the Eye of Adamoni was stolen. I had a feeling something was wrong. That's why I decided to wake up. And I selected Philia as my new mistress. I'm not qualified to. You can hear my voice, can't you? Yes. Then that settles it. You have a hidden skill within you. All I did was to wake it up. But why me? Well, I prefer a young, beautiful girl as my mistress. All right, time to leave the sword here. You dirty old man. Oops, I shouldn't have. Oh, well, okay, so if uh, she's calling him a dirty old man, then uh, clearly I have to change the uh, voice. Oops, I shouldn't have said that. Clemente, I'm disappointed in you. Hey, don't look at me like that. Can't you take a dumb joke? Here, Philia, take me in your hand. Hey, Philia, are you sure about using that thing? What? What do you mean by that thing? Ruti, watch your mouth. I know it's a sword, but it's really a dirty old man inside. Think about what you're doing. Clemente is willing to lend me his powers. Well, yeah, but... Ruti, you're a strong woman, so you may not understand what I'm talking about. I want to carry my own weight amongst you and not be a burden, so... Well, I guess I'm wasting my time. Oh, whatever. Do what you want. Clemente, I'll accept your offer. 
A uh, wise choice, Celia. There will be many, many trials ahead of you, but I feel you will conquer them all. Thank you. Okay, we should return to the Sea Dragon quickly. Yeah, we'll be in trouble if the ship leaves us. I wonder if we're going to be coming back here. All right, well, um, we have another... Oh, I actually have to equip it. A sentient large sword. It's light and lacks attack power despite its large size. Yeah, uh, I'm actually losing thrust attack from the uh, club. Uh, only gaining a little bit of a slash, but gaining two defense. Hit goes down, though. All right, Clemente. I do not have any other uh, discs. Technically, I guess I could swap uh, over. I could. Which is interesting that anyone can uh, use use them, but um, all right. So we got a flame disc. We have an S stone. We have two other unknown discs, which would probably work for Clemente and Chaltier. And of course, Mary is stuck with nothing. All right, and I still don't have any uh, better armor for you. All right, so we have a new uh, Sordian. Uh, doesn't give her any more special things, but it does give her a fireball, wind arrow, stone blast, and a lightning. Shoots off a fireball at the enemy. Attacks the enemy with arrows created by strong air pressure. Showers the enemy with a blast of pebbles and creates a small lightning bolt. So uh, Philia, because of the sword, is now our mage. All right. And we get to another. I hate these slugs. I really hate these slugs. Alright. You're supposed to jump there, you dink. <laughs> you are jumping, but you're just missing. Ow, 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 ow. Rude. We'll level up a new spell for Ruti. Excellent. And yeah, we're out of food in the uh, food bag now. Um, <laughs> ice Tornado envelops the enemy in an ice storm. All right, let's go ahead and get on out of here. all the way back up? I think I do. Something tells me that this thing is going to be on the surface at some point. There we go. Alright, fine, let's climb back up. You're all... Oh, come on! How dare you move your move the rocks? No moving rocks. Not allowed. <laughs> There we go. Nice job, Julia. Alright. Back down we go. And more monsters, of course. Yeah. 
Ice Tornado. Alright, it actually does uh, pretty good damage when it is... Not, uh... Not actually being defended against. Well, I know who's getting all my TP, uh... Items. <laughs> it's definitely going to be, uh, fruity. Let's see. Right, that is there. All right. One last enemy before we leave, it uh, looks like, perhaps. Oh, yeah. This one isn't the one with ha with uh, pow hammer then, because that that hammer blow sure looked like pow hammer. Let's return to the ship. It's it's been an hour. The poor bastards. But hey, wait a minute. Hey, just in time. What? How can this be? Yeah, monster. Calm yourself. Are you all right? Of course. Er, she dragon is going back. Show's over. There's nothing more to see. Make haste for Calvalis. Aye, 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 sir. And back to the happy sailing. We've arrived in Calvalis. Baruch's office is located in the town. He should be there. Baruch is in charge of Calvalis. We need to get information from him. Yeah, I wonder what that monster was. I wonder if we can see the sea dragon one more time. He got over it pretty quick, didn't you? Uh, excuse me, buddy. Sir. 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 I need you to move. Thank you. Can't go back in. All right. Ships are being attacked a lot lately. It doesn't help our cargo shipping business at all. Ooh, foreigners! A strange-looking man was selling shiny discs, but he's gone bye-bye. I kind of wanted one. Mr. Important. Really not that important. Fishmonger. Fishmonger, tasty fish. We can get a, a bream, not exactly tasty, but cute looking in a way. Uh, a wrasse, easily caught, but tastes horrible. And a red snapper. Tasty fish that's excellent when baked in a wood fired oven. You don't like what I have. Why don't you go to another country? Oh, that's rude. I had to see what you had before I could, uh, see it. You're not welcome here, outsider! Wow. Macho Grocer. Grocer. Grocer? Whatever. I know you're looking for local delicacies and souvenirs. All you damn tourists are the same. Wow, a fruit shop fruity! Dorian for 3,000. Wow. Vegetables. Fresh vegetables packed with vitamins and minerals. Banana, a handy portable snack. Pineapple, a tropical fruit that can make your tongue tingle if overeaten. And a Dorian, a fruit with a sweet, unforgettable fragrance. Damn it, we hate people who look but don't buy. It's important to be tough in business. You shouldn't let stupid little things bug you. Yeah, like that guy letting me not buying anything bug him. People here are kind of xenophobic. They don't want to see foreigners in their country. They've been like this for a long time. A word of advice, watch yourself. Uh, 
they better watch themselves. That's what I. That's what I'm saying. It's a pod. Or do you want some exotic fabrics? Clothe your silk robe. We got an A cloak and a, a blue ribbon. Well, three and amber cloak. A cloak adorned with amber decorations. That is armor. I'm sure. Thanks, you got a good deal. Did I? Alright, the Amber Cloak. Uh, defense from 40 to 50, and evade from 55 to 75. That's a pretty good uh, upgrade. Definitely take that. And a Blue Ribbon. Defense goes from 50 to 57. A blue ribbon. That's that's what it says. All foreigners look funny, especially you. I can't figure foreigners out. Wow. There's no country in the world that has cold weather all year long. That's impossible. How can I believe what outsiders say? It's true. It snows all year round in Fandaria. Oh, I got I got some more warehouse puzzles. I will do those uh, in a bit. Let's head into the town, Cherrick Harbor. Came all the way here to purchase some goods, but I've noticed that the natives here aren't exactly friendly. They aren't, are they? Jeff's in. It looks like it says Hotel Hefe. Hello, I'm Jeff, your host. Our rate is 80 gold a night. Do you want to stay? Yes. Well, enjoy your stay. Thanks for the healing. Did you sleep well? Please come again. Hey, well, see, this guy was nice. I mean, it, it does kind of serve his purposes. Making a bed is hard work. I wish the customers left tips more often. Game doesn't give me an off option to do so. Also, Bell Girl is apparently her name. Let me tell you something, young man. This island is it was a penal colony that a bunch of foreigners created out of convenience. Oh, oh, so we're in Australia. Ah, great southern land, except it's, it's in the north. Also, I swear the in sign says like J E O. And the, this other building over here seems to say, Jeff? I don't know. Although it's independent, an independent country now, we're treated about the same as in ancient times. This island will never be prosperous until we break free from your curse. My curse? Excuse me? Uh, don't talk to me. Strangers, hey, do you want to play tag with me? Sure. Okay, let me get ready then. Do you want me to tell you the rules? Sure. It's a simple game of tag. One of my pals will be it, and all you have to do is to get away from him. If you can avoid being tagged for a long time, I'll give you money for that amount of time. When you want to quit, come see me. Okay, you want to start? Uh, sure. Start! Whee! Yippee, you got caught. You didn't get caught for 14 seconds, so I'll give you 14 gold. If that was your best shot, don't bother trying again. Why don't you just get off this island right away? Wow. I don't like weak people. Come back later. Wow. Baruch Fund Office. All right, well, not... We'll, we'll, we'll wait a bit for that. I am trying not to think about my ship on holidays, but I can't rest easy. Oh, little baby. Goo -goo. Hey, you're from out of town, aren't you? Don't touch the baby. Touch. Hey, don't come barging into someone's house uninvited. Oh, I'm invited everywhere, lady. Something's boiling in the pot. I love a good something. 
temple doesn't make our life better. We, the people of Calvalis, can only trust those who have been born and raised here. We'd prefer to place our trust in blast hard cheese. I mean, in our own people, rather than trust some fickle goddess imported from a foreign country. Equipment shop Oasis. This is an equipment shop. Uh, our bottle, rune bottle, the liquid. Pardon me. Uh, the liquid in this bottle will help you identify unknown objects. All right, that's expensive. Get three for now. Got uh, H bottle, holy bottle. This bottle contains a holy essence that wards off enemies. Let's get ten of that bread, a tasty multigrain bread baked to perfection. Cheese, a nutritious cheese made from a healthy cow's milk. Oops. Should probably sell some spectacles or use them, actually. Thanks a lot. Actually, let's see. Uh, food sack value 10 and 20 there for the uh, cheese. So unfortunately, the uh, cheese is probably is not really worth it in comparison. It's hard to mind a store at my age. Hot outside, cool inside. That's the way it ought to be. No, no, cool outside, hot, um, cool inside. That's the way it should be, not hot inside. Welcome. Oh, you're strangers. Are you buying anything? Maybe. Arms Shop Desert Store. Hmm. Uh, fine. Saber. Saber is what uh, Mary has equipped. A silver mace. Attribute light. Mace with elaborate silverwork. Oh, yeah, okay. I can get uh, some information here. So 60 and 60 is pretty nice. Let's go ahead and get one of these. Uh, Battle Axe is actually, uh, well. Veldan and Battle Axe, that would be better, but I think we'll stick with the Silver. Uh, Iron Helm, no. Iron Glove. Let's get three of those, and that's it. All right, a glove made from iron. An axe made from battle, the battle axe. And uh, Veldan, a rapier variant. You should be grateful that I'm doing business with you. Wow. I mean, you should be grateful that I'm buying from you, lady. I don't have to. Really don't. find something for uh, Philia to put on her hands one of these days. All right, so it is about time to wrap up the episode. When we come back next time, we'll head into uh, uh, Baruch's, uh, I guess this is his office. Pretty big uh, house. I don't know where the Elder lives. Maybe in the uh, house with the, um, uh, whatchamacallit, the, uh, the babysitter. Also, um, Leon, your hit points not doing so hot. Ruti has more hit points than you. So do I. Oh, pardon me. Uh, Mary does as well, but I'm not surprised by that. And I don't think Felia is setting up to have more hit points than him, but uh, she's not gonna, not exactly gonna have fewer, like that many fewer. So <laughs> it's uh, kind of impressive. Anyway, when we come back next time, we'll go uh, speak to the man in the uh, mansion, I guess, and see what he has to say, see what kind of aid he can render us. But that will be for next time. 
See you then, everyone.